Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm doing another Watercolor Wednesday, and I'm still playing with my Master's Touch uh, metallic uh, watercolors, and I thought I would attempt a landscape, so that's what I'm doing, just trying to figure out a green for the ground here, and these these don't react quite like regular watercolors. They um, they tend to lift really easy, and um, the whole appearance is fuzzy. Um, no matter what I tried to do to make it sharper, it still appears fuzzy in the end. But it was fun to attempt. So here you can tell I did not pre-wet my paper, and there's no moisture on the back side, so it's curling really bad. But the cure for that is to pull out my little spray bottle of water. We'll just spray the back side and watch how fast that lays flat. Works perfectly. <laughs> and here I get this all mixed, thinking I'm going to do like trees or something, and then I'm like, um, I changed my mind. I want to do some mountains first. So we're going to get in here with some blue, brown, kind of gray it out a little bit, create ourselves some crazy mountains. And this paint is just like pushing colored glitter around on the paper. Very fine glitter. But yeah. Now I'm just mixing all kinds of colors. I want to get some sort of dark mountain behind these ones. I figured it needed more layers. So we're just going to stick a mountain back there and make it nice and dark. And you can tell I'm just making this up in my head because I'm like, oh, what should I do next? <laughs> so now we're going to put some trees down here in the middle area. I'm going to smooth off the bottom so it looks like there's a hill in front of them. See how I'm putting that lighter color in there and you can actually see it? That wouldn't happen with regular watercolors. It wouldn't lighten the image up at all, I don't think. And here, now I decide I need a structure. We're going to put a little house here. And I just go right over the top of the other and it just pushes it out of the way. So very different from using regular watercolors. I used so much of that dark green, I think I've used almost the whole thing in a couple of paintings. I decided my mountains were boring, so I had to do something to them. Make them look a little bit more like Rocky Mountains. I 
Oh, I did let that dry, by the way. I hit it with the a little blow dryer. Now we're adding some layers, trying to make that house or that building look like something. Can't decide what to do. Decided I needed some dark in there, just wasn't quite popping. So I let that dry again, and we're going to hit it with some more little details, trying to sharpen things up, but it really does just kind of leave the image, the whole image just is fuzzy. I've decided I need something on the right hand side to counterbalance everything going on th on the left. So we're going to put a tree in here. A pine tree. I let that dry and we're going to add some sh darker shades to it. the metallic I have to tilt it so I can see what it looks like without all the reflection. Alright, well there you go. See how fuzzy it is? You can so kind of see the reflection of the metallic. Well, I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like. Feel free to share, comment. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.